There have been many times in my cycling life where I've had cycling fitness, I've been going really well, then all of a sudden it kind of disappears and I've been going quite rubbish and I've thought I've been doing all the right things, but in reality, I was making a fair few mistakes. So in this video, I'm gonna to chat to you about the top ways that might be ruining your fitness, but for this video, we're going in here to see all the dangerous ways that are gonna ruin your fitness, but only for this video we are allowed in here. It's very dangerous. First up, one of the top ways that is going to ruin your cycle and fitness is to ignore the importance of recovery. If you're doing hard session after hard session and not giving your body any rest days, then you are going to end up ruining your fitness. Remember, progress happens during rest, not just in those training sessions as well. So if you fail to give your body enough rest, it can lead to overtraining, fatigue and potential injury make sure to incorporate rest days or even active recovery days into your training plan that way you can be nice recovered refreshed ready to hit your next training session many cyclists solely focus on time in the saddle and pedaling but neglecting your strength work is actually a huge mistake and you'll see many pro cyclists incorporate strength training exercises and even yoga and pilates into their weekly program Building strength training into your weekly training program is going to help with your power output, if there's any imbalances you might have, and well, just your overall performance as well. And if you neglect doing strength work, it could, you know, lead to injuries that really, when you have an injury, you're going to have time off the bike. Whereas if you had just incorporated a little bit of strength work, it might have prevented you having that injury. So it's definitely something you should think about. And it doesn't have to be hardcore gym sessions in the big gym. It could be as simple as doing exercises from the comfort of your own home. Now this next one, I'm definitely a culprit for. One too many cakes at the cafe stop. Now a treat now and again is absolutely fine, but you want to be fueling your body with the right nutrients because it's gonna help your performance so much on the bike. Now it's not only having good nutrition, balanced meals, for breakfast, lunch and dinner, but you also need to be feeling really well on the bike. We've done quite a few videos recently on how many grams of carbs per athletes are eating and it is an insane amount, way more than you actually think. So make sure to eat proper nutrition when you're on your bike, off the bike, stay hydrated as well. And when you finished your bike ride, make sure to go and have some high protein snacks or a meal because that is gonna help your recovery as well. What you don't want to do is skip meals, bad nutrition, ready meals, and rely on junk food. That's definitely gonna ruin your fitness. You're doing all this hard work. It's like putting Pepsi Max into a Ferrari. Don't want that. This next one you might not initially think about, but it is a poorly maintained bike. Now, having a poorly or neglected bike can lead to insufficient power output. It can lead to discomfort, accidents, and you'll just feel a little bit rubbish when you're riding it. You wanna get on your bike and you wanna feel good riding it. And everything should work correctly, but if it's neglected or poorly maintained, you can have a rusty chain, it's gonna be clogged up with mud and dirt. But keeping your bike in good working order should be super simple. So all you need to do is give it a good clean now and again. Scrub a dub dub. Check your tires, check your brakes, make sure to have a nice clean drivetrain that is well lubed as well. But if you are struggling with bike maintenance, we have the road maintenance book, which has absolutely everything you need to know about maintaining your bike and keeping it in good working order. So if you fancy yourself a copy of this, then head over to the GCN shop. Ruining your cycling fitness can sometimes be as simple as forgetting to enjoy the ride. Sometimes we are so focused on the numbers, the metrics, the power, we can kind of lose sight of what actually brought us to cycling in the first place and what we really enjoy about it. So every now and again, make sure to just take in the scenery, go ride with your friends, have a nice time. And hopefully that fitness will just come flowing back. So those are some of our top ways that might ruin your fitness, but I'm sure there are quite a few other ways as well. So if you think of any, make sure to drop them in the comment section below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up.